Dino here. Now we're going to learn how to add API key verification to any API proxy. If you haven't done the work in the prior video where you created your first proxy, stop here and go back and watch that video now. In the Apigee UI, select the proxy we created previously. Click the Develop tab. Now, click the preflow in the proxy endpoint and click the plus step icon. Scroll down and select the Verify API Key Policy. Click Add, and done. Now I've added API Key Verification to my proxy. Every request that is received by this proxy will need to send a key. What happens when I invoke our test proxy? Well, you can see I get an error. The Apigee proxy is rejecting the request because I didn't pass an API key. How can we generate a valid API key? Let me show you. Let's flip back to the Apigee UI. The first step is to wrap that proxy in an API product. In Apigee Edge, the API product is the way we expose APIs to consuming developers. Click the Publish menu, API Products, click Plus API Product, name it, and include the API proxy we just created. Click Save. Now we need a developer. Normally, developers add themselves via the developer portal, but we can also do it here in the administrative UI. Click Publish, Developers, plus Developer. Specify the relevant information. Now, create an app that is authorized for that product. Click Publish, Apps, plus App, name the app, select a developer, and add the API product. Click Save. Click back in to see the details, and we see the consumer key, also known as the API key. Let's copy that. Flip tabs, paste in the key as a query parameter, and invoke the API again. You can see the API proxy is now allowing the request with the valid API key. The key ID is here. Products wrap API proxies. Apps have API keys that are authorized for specific API products. Developers own those apps. In this video, we learned the concept of an API product, and we added a Verify API key policy to our API proxy. Verify API key is just one of over 30 policies built into Apigee Edge. Simply selecting from a drop-down list, you can add policies for traffic management, security, and message manipulation. You can also write custom logic in JavaScript or Python, or even Java, if you need something special. You have full control over the request and response messages. There's a lot of power here. To help you learn about it all, don't forget the documentation and the community sites for Apigee. Be sure to watch the next video in this series, where we'll cover tracing and the assigned message policy. Till then, keep it digital.